video, I'm going to take you on a tour of the closet of crap. This, you will notice, is where we just store all the things. All right, keep in mind, right now, school is out. The school dismissed last week. Right now, there are tech workers working in the building, and they are tearing out all of the cable and putting new cable in. I don't know if you can see that, but my office, the office, all of these things are just a mess right now because they are redoing all of the cable. It's about eight o'clock in the morning and we're still working. My daughter is at basketball camp this morning. I had to drop her off at 7.30. I'm gonna go back and get her at nine but that's just a time frame so you know when I'm doing this and how I'm doing this is a little bit at a time. It's Friday. This weekend I can come back out. My hope is that I can come back out and do the binders and talk to you a little bit about those. However, I just don't know what the weekend will bring, but I want to share as much as I can to see if any of these ideas help you. I'm not a hoarder, but I'm a hoarder, so keep that in mind. But anyway all right here is an overview there are workers in the building today and i have the door closed behind me so i'm kind of cramped in here but this is the overview of this room this room is right next door to my office and this is where we store all of the things from all of the years that we have collected as far as decorations prizes giveaways all different kinds of things and i'll try to go over each one as best as i can starting with the popcorn machine my secretary makes the popcorn we have a calendar in the office and people can sign up or you can have them sign up on your google calendar and she will make popcorn for whatever celebration everyone wants so we could have popcorn parties every day every friday once a month it just depends on what people sign up for a lot of people have pto or parents come in and do it and that's fine but we wanted it to be something that we used all the time and we have time to make it next is the old laminator we have two laminators this is the old one off limits for everyone we can get it to work here in the office however the teachers will let it overheat or it will break or too many people using it is a bad idea So we have this laminator and then we use this one as needed this is a sign that we had made for meet the teacher night and open house and it has all of these different names on it we haven't used it because the legs are too long and people were tripping over the legs because they stick out too far from the base. I think we're going to get a planter's bucket and we're going to put the post in a planter's bucket. That way we can get rid of the legs and we can actually use this. It was supposed to be like a Dr. Seuss thing and that's how we orchestrated that. All right, over here, these are some of the records that we have from years past. We have to keep them for a certain amount of time. And then some signs, and we have our lunchroom Yakker Tracker light that we don't use anymore. We probably used that for like a month. It just didn't work. Nobody paid any attention to it, so we don't use that anymore. These tubs obviously have Christmas lights. We put Christmas lights all throughout the building at Christmas time and this is where we have stored them. The candy that you see in the candy buckets does not expire until next year so we have put it in the big tubs to save it and keep it fresh-ish until next year. Next we have our paper cabinet with all of our different paper and folders and supplies. This we keep full most of the time. Teachers have access to this. I have access to this. Some of it is Astro Bright's cardstock. Some of it is just regular paper, but everyone can use this or ask and my secretaries will put stuff together with this. All right, the file cabinets, obviously you can see have some former paperwork in them and we can store paperwork at other buildings as well. But I kind of wanted to show you in this drawer right here. Back in the day, when we had more bulletin boards and now i do not like bulletin boards at all 
we have I have all of these bulletin board letters. This is actually on my Teachers Pay Teachers store. It is like a copy bulletin board coffee banner that you can make. But these are all the letters that bulletin board letters that we buy at the teacher supply store. And they are labeled by putting a piece of the bulletin board letter on the end on the envelope because in all of these envelopes there are cut out letters and they are a disaster and this is how we have i need to quit buying them i'm like a bulletin board i'll show you some more stuff i hoard as well but these are all of our bulletin board letters and the teachers can use these anybody can use those keep in mind i've been here for gosh this is going to be my 18th year coming up. So these are like 18 years worth of supplies in this room. I'm going to interrupt this video real quick just to talk to you about subscribing to this channel as I am trying to create consistent information this summer. And I also have a website, melindasmiller.com, that has my blog and my shop and some freebies. You can get a digital planner. You can get a free digital planner to try if you're not sure what that is. So be sure to check those things out too. All right, keep in mind again that this is 18 years worth of supplies. Some of it's new and fresh. Some of it has been here forever, but I'm going to talk about some of these things. When I say that I am a bulletin board hoarder, those are, I think there's seven, six, seven, eight, I don't know how many bulletin board border boxes that have all of the bulletin board borders that I've purchased since I think I started. As you can see, that faded box on the bottom is super old. And then up above, my secretaries organized this the last week of school during some of their downtime when teachers and kids were all busy. But these are all of our decorations either for the office or for the workroom. We do both. The decorations up in the top corner, the PTO decorated for Teacher Appreciation Week this year, and they did a Mexican theme, and that stuff was all over in the hallways when the kids came. And then my custodian will take a lot of this stuff down when he has time. So he took it down and we put it in these boxes. But you can see all the different um, holidays and decorations that we have. These, some of these boxes I think have food in them and some, as you can see, she's labeled some of them. But these are just a small portion of our decorations. We have another closet that we have more stuff in that we can look at eventually. I am gonna do a whole video on these binders. These bins and binders are usually not in here, but when teachers checked out, my secretary put all of this stuff back here. They turned it in in the workroom, and then when they had everything in their bo box, she had them bring it sh to her, and then she stored it back here. And I'll talk about that process as well but you can take a look at that but i'll do a video on that organization process the cabinets and the shelves were not here whenever i came to this school and we just had this stuff installed maybe five or six years ago this was a classroom before we split schools and a new school was built and we redistrict and stuff like that so we had room for this i'm going to go over what's in the drawers and in this drawer it appears there are things for the silhouette my secretary has a silhouette on her desk I have a cricket there's wrapping paper and ribbons and other kind of random decorations we do a lot of trophies prizes gifts Christmas challenges different things like that so that's why we have so much wrapping paper I love curly ribbon I use this for everything I was actually looking for this the other day because I usually have this in my basket in my office closets and I couldn't find it so now I know where the curling ribbon is but that's what's in these top drawers here and again she organized all this we use these lanyards for field trips and the chaperones and the field trip schedules we 
we print them and we put them in these for the different field trips. So we went to Jefferson City and we had the schedule of where everybody was going and what time and the kids had them and the parents had the them. The cabinets down in the bottom and honestly I didn't know it was in here until I just opened these up. But again, more decorations. We have used these buckets and this Halloween bin for the You've Been Booed challenge and I think we've just changed like one year we use the green one one year we use the pink one one year, year, bleh, one year we used both so that um, it went faster and we made sure everybody got one but the pumpkins are for decoration in the office I am actually not sure what all is in there. We do the elf on the shelf, and I know that that's part of what's in that. My secretary hides the elf all over the dang school, and the kids absolutely love it. So that's what that's doing in there. I tried to move the popcorn machine, but it is stuck by water, and it's super heavy, so I'm not moving it. These, we have purchased different coffee Keurigs over the years. So we didn't buy these all at once. We bought a few at a time, and the water for a water bar that's what we have that for the coffee we use for staff and for parents we've used it for the book fair we've used it for veterans day parent teacher conferences kindergarten screening we put stuff out for that and then i had to show you our box tops for education when we used to do this we don't do this anymore but those are our box tops awards my art teacher made those they're so cute they're just little wooden blocks she had cut for that and then this is the old coffee maker that doesn't work anymore and I'm not really sure why that's still there but that's what is in the cabinets down below now keep in mind there's a whole other storage closet that I could probably go show you as well hopefully this video was helpful if you have questions about anything that you saw on this video put your questions in the comments below and I'll answer them as best as I can based on what your question is this is a partnership between my secretaries and myself. So a lot of these things, there's a method to her madness and not necessarily mine because I know she comes behind me and picks up the messes that I make. But again, in the comments, mention anything about this video or maybe other videos that you want to see. I'd be totally happy to do any videos this summer while I'm off. I have kind of a six week break, however, my kids are in sports and for example, next week we have four days of sports, softball, basketball, camp, summer camp, weightlifting. So we're doing that. So while my kids are at their events over at the middle school, I can just head over here and work on some of these videos. So let me know what you'd like to see. Yeah.